These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Norv, a.k.a. Caperoni. Article quote, the central bank feeds electronic payment cards at the official rate of the dollar. Quote, the central bank of Iraq announced on Monday that all requests to purchase the dollar for purposes of travel, study, and treatment abroad will be met by feeding electron electronic payment cards, MasterCard, and Visa card at the official price specified by the bank. The CBI using Visa and MasterCard to issue dollars is a violation of the IMF's liberalized exchange rate regime. This will prevent them from acceptance into Article 8 if desired. It will, though, help curb corruption, so it's a catch-22, uh, violate rules to curb corruption or continue with the corruption in meeting IMF conditions. All right, Frank 26 uh, we're implementing a new mechanism. Those are direct words from the CBI that is really explosive. About three weeks ago, we said, watch, the CBI is done. They already told the citizens, both, Mustafa, both Mustafa's uh, PM Kazimi and CBI governor on television saying, if you think the exchange rate we used, used to have was something, wait till you see the one coming out. Petra said the Kurds are back in town. Whenever they come to town, it's for business. Right now, the Kurds, along with the world, are waiting for the opening of the budge and the new rate. We are in a great time frame. Watch the CBI, all in my opinion. Pimpy says we're starting to see the value of the dinar is losing against the U.S. dollar. Why? Because how are outside investors going to come into Iraq and invest when there's so much instability? They need security. I would not want to go somewhere and invest money into a country when there's too much civil unrest. We're starting to see all these militia groups feel really emboldened since Biden got into office. People are not feeling very secure about what is going on in the Middle East. Right, walking Stick via Frank 26 says... The World Bank within the last three weeks is constantly talking about the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. Constantly, the World Bank is telling the CBI, please, you're a sovereign nation, raise the value of your currency. The World Bank talked three days in a row last Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and came out and they stated what? The obvious. Raise the value of your currency, CBI. Uh, right now, the World Bank is carrying the football. What did the World Bank say the CBI has? They have the mechanism to implement the reforms. What do you think that mechanism is? The mechanism is a new rate. Right, Mark Z via PDK says, On the banking front, I am being told they've cleaned up the logistical issues that they needed to. So from what I'm hearing, everything is a go now. We are watching things closely. Uh, question, are we still in a 24 to 48 hour window? Um, Answer, we are knee-deep in that last 12 to 24 hours right now. This is from what I heard on Sunday. Frank 26, article, quote, specialized banks, quote, now that we are moving completely towards the capitalist market economy system, capitalist market economy, that's freedom. My money is free to move in your country. That's article eight. Somebody ring a bell. Thank you. This is powerful. This is Article 8. All right, lastly, Mountain Goat says we must all remember that the original reason why they changed out the Saddam notes for the larger three zero notes was to combat massive inflation and stabilize the economy. In 2003, it was on the brink of crashing. So now, how does it look after almost 17 years of the larger three zero notes? Is it much better than in 2003? Okay, so if you are really a student of Iraqi politics and finance, you will learn it does not have to be much better, only stable. Stable, you say? How can the dinar be stable with the rate changing so much and being devalued? So maybe time has come now to release the lower denominations as the three zero notes have outlived their original purpose. But to turn the currency back on the will, on the will still need the oil and gas law. 